Hi, today we will learn that through a song and this is a small part of it because to be honest, I don't find it is easy to create this kind of video because I'm not Dutch native but I just want to contribute a little bit especially a long time ago when I started this channel there were no reliable channels about learning Dutch so this is the best I can do the title of the song is Geef mij maar nasi goreng from Witeke van Doord van Doord the V should be V but sometimes I'm into F because I'm Indonesian native and I try the best I can do to pronounce several letters in Dutch because sometimes it takes extra time to prepare before I can pronounce a word or a letter perfect well quotes perfectly for example this one G in Dutch is and I don't have liquid compartment in my throat and I was born this way I was created like this and I don't plan to clone my throat from others or do some surgery so this is the best I can do in daily conversation I cannot tend to pronounce this letter into H I hope it is good enough because if sometimes I most of the times I have to prepare the and then my, my throat hurts I don't know so yeah and the R Dutch one is R but Indonesian one is R for example my name is Ira and sometimes people call my name Ira okay I cannot complain because that is the best they can do and that is better than Ira because I know they can pronounce the E and they can pronounce the A so why bother Ira becomes Ira at least Ira that is good enough okay and yeah too much is already three minutes just to talk about this kind of stuff introduction let's start it geef mij maar and this one's in Indonesian nasi goreng Indonesian G is G it is similar when you have to pronounce go or ga ga goreng met this one is ain or one but if it is one of something or a something a and then noun this one you keep writing in the same formation the same letters set of letters but the way you pronounce it is different it is not ain but it becomes an and this one i have to prepare my throat first but in daily conversation i cannot make people Please wait, I have to prepare the liquid first. Give me several seconds, hopefully 30 seconds, good enough. And then... Okay, ready? That's impolite. So, the best I can do is... And this one... A. 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 
this the W is more to ooh, ooh, like that and this one what what and this in Indonesian is pronounced as sambal or sambal 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 is casually I also pronounce this as sambal but the way you write it based on the dictionary formally is sambal but you may pronounce it as sambal or sambal and this one similar with this what 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 this in indonesian dr is r and in indonesia is written like this in indonesian i will pronounce it in Indo indonesian first kerupuk kerupuk ke whether with e here in english is e but in indonesian is e kerupuk kerupuk or without the e we pronounce it but the formal way to write it is with this e or in english e kerupuk or kerupuk in dutch kerupuk kerupuk and this and this one it is the same with this and this i have to prepare the g <sighs> But in daily conversation, hood, hood. And this, even though it has this letter G, but it is more into the H. So the K or the H is kind of less hard. I, I think it's more into class, class in, instead of the class, class. But it's more into class, class. And this one, beer, beer. And this, airbag, airbag, airbag. Yeah. The Indonesian translation, we don't use this word if you want to keep these lyrics with the same translation in Indonesian we we don't use this one and we also don't use this one this one also we don't use and this one we don't use we just say it with this this and this good enough and this good enough without this without this and this one is good enough and this one also with good good enough without this and without this that's why I don't write it there and this one there is no Indonesian translation because these are already in Indonesian yeah this one is the Indonesian one. okay now we will try to sing it or just pronounce it first time well we already pronounced let's do it Have May more nasi goreng met and Kebakan A What Sambal Sambal N What Kerupuk Kerupuk Indonesian Dutch Kerupuk N N for the <laughs> so you will hear mine most mostly into the <laughs> 
Geef. Geef. Because if it's... Geef. And then... It's hard. Oké? Geef mij maar nasi goreng met een gebakken ei. Wat sambal en wat kroepoek. Indonesian, kroepoek. Dutch. En een goed. As you can hear there, goed. Because I cannot say en een goed. They're simple like. You have to wait for the I don't have it instantly prepared in my throat. I'm so sorry, but that's the fact. And a good glass beer erbij. Geef mij maar nasi goreng met een gebakken ei. What sambal and what kerupuk Dutch, kerupuk Indonesian, and a good glass beer erbai. Hi, today we will learn Indonesian or Bahasa Indonesia through this song, but this is small part of it because if I have to make it the whole. Entire song, it's gonna be a really long one, and I have to learn about it because I'm I'm not Dutch native, and the way I pronounce it, I have to learn about it, and it will be still not in a perfect condition, but that's gonna be the best I can do. The song title is "Geef mij maar nasi goreng" from. Witeke van Dort. The V in fun. Sometimes I pronounce it as fun, but in Dutch should be fun. Yeah, but I'm Indonesian. Sometimes it's more into fun. Fun Dort should be fun. Yeah. The best I can do. And the Indonesian translation. This. In Dutch, in English is give. In Indonesian, beri, beri. The R of Indonesian is more into R. My name is Ira, but I understand totally if you call my name as Ira, it is good enough. It is okay. I understand. I respect that. Beri. Mai in English me. In Indonesian saya or aku. In Dutch and also in English I and me is different. In Indonesian, it is the same. Whether it is for subject or object, we use the same word. Saya or aku. But in daily conversation, we use saya. At least in some areas that I've been with, uh, I've been live because I've been living. Some areas use aku, some areas use saya, some areas thought that if you use aku is more into poem or poet, and also for little kids they some they use aku. I have already talked about this and the saya and aku in slang when you use it with your friends. Your close friends in a group or something like that with the slang version. I've already made a video about it. If I found the video, I will put the link below. And let's continue. Mar, just this mar is, but 
or only but for this lyric especially this sentence is translated as just and in Indonesian just is hanya it is the same with only and this I will pronounce it in Indonesian so you know how to pronounce this phrase of two words correctly na si go reng syllable by syllable na si go reng na 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 si 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 go 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 reng 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 na si go reng na si go reng the go the G there, it is the same when you have to pronounce ga, ga, go, and the R, er, but it is okay if you pronounce it as er, understood, understandable, it is okay. Nasi goreng. Met with, and in Indonesian is dengan. The N and G here, um, it is similar when you have to pronounce singing, ringing, inging, inging, dengan. Okay, this one, an, it is ain, but in Dutch, this ain, if you use it together with a noun after that it's good. the way you write it is the same like this but you pronounce it instead of ain you pronounce it as an if there is a if there is noun so an in english a uh, in indonesian it can be sebuah seorang seekor because we use different word for thing which is sebuah or for human being seorang or for animal seekor buah is piece or fruit sebuah e for thing or for fruit also and ekor is tail Seekor is for animal and seorang is a for human being orang is human so a for human being in Indonesian is seorang I don't know if I've already made the video about it because I think I always think that I've already made because if not I I will feel a bit deja vu but let's see, if I found a video, I will put the link below. And this one also can be translated as satu, one. Because in Indonesian, if you want to say one fried egg, you don't say with a, uh, but you say one. That's why I translate this one as one, satu. It is a bit awkward if you say it with a uh, sebuah sebuah telur goreng. It is a bit like sound like song lyric or a poem, a poet Shakespeare era or something. We use satu. And this one fried is goreng. In Dutch, kebakan. Egg is a. In Indonesian, telur. That is the formal way to pronounce it and also to write it with you here. But in daily conversation or casual, we sometimes, including myself, pronounce it as telur. The slang in Indonesian mostly created because we try to to kind of make people understand with less uh, troll, 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 troll with our tongue. That's why it's 
telur dan telur because the tongue can be a bit steady if you say it with telur eh why my R like that telur or dan telur with telur with u you have to do something with your mouth and with your tongue but if you say it as telur it's smooth telur like that and this in Indonesian you don't use it but if you want to what is the translation what is the translation for this this what because in Dutch you have to be like that you cannot say what 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 no you have to pronounce it as what what it can be translated as what in English but in this lyrics it means some and in Indonesia of course what is different it is apa but the what which is translated as some in English is beberapa in Indonesian but we don't use this we, we don't use some chili sauce no we just say the chili sauce no need some or something like that no no need this one and the chili sauce in Indonesian is sambal but we casually pronounce it as sambal 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 it is easier to say sambal i think but the way you write it is this one formally and and in indonesian done this one is the same with this and in indonesian we don't use some krupuk, some crackers, no, we just use crackers, whether one or more, is just crackers, that's all. The Dutch pronunciation, krupuk, krupuk, Indonesian, the formal one with e, or in English, e, in Indonesian, e, kerupuk, kerupuk. Or sometimes slang or slang pronunciation and slang written krupuk krupuk without the e or in English e it is deep fried crackers this one is together with this I will pronounce it one more time and 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 done this one is the same with this and this one in Indonesian we also don't use it because it is like a good glass of beer or so just a glass of beer in, it, it is a bit awkward in Indonesia to say a good glass with the good is the, it's just like sorry there's no not good or there's bad version or something like that what, what you mean with a good it is a full one it is a I, it's kind of like just a glass of that's all a, a, a full glass of or a decent amount of glass or full something like that the, so there's no good translation for that but if you want to translate this word itself into Indonesian I will pronounce it in Dutch first I have to prepare my throat first <sighs> stuff it's alcohol stuff and if, if you want to say a good glass of something we, we don't say the the good part because yeah, I don't have to repeat that part and now this one in Dutch the is kind of less hurt I think my own opinion is more into class 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 is not class, class. Yeah. Enough, yeah. Um, 
In English, glass. In Indonesian, gelas. G, ga, ga, go. G, gelas, 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 gelas. Okay. And this one, beer, beer, beer. In Indonesian, beer. I will repeat, beer. Okay. This one we also don't use because when you say, I want this one, I want sambal, I want the krupuk, I want a glass of beer, that's all. We don't say the together at the same time or something like that. When we already say, I want A, B, C, it's already not that it can be this that come together. You don't have to put the together or something like that. And that's why in Indonesian, we don't use with this lyric. But of course in English and in Dutch, you, you say together and in Dutch, erbai, erbai. But in Indonesian, sambal, kerupuk, and a good and a glass of beer. Okay, that's all. I I order it together. It will. It's one set of my purchase. I order. Come together. Come one by one or something like that. Yeah, just you know. But if you want to know the translation of this word, is bersama or bersamaan. Because it should be translated as at the same time. But we don't use this word when we order everything. We don't use. We don't use the air by and we don't use the together or at the same time in English when you order in Indonesia. In Indonesia. Should I sing it? Ah, no need, yeah. Because this is just learn Indonesian version of this song the translation. Thank you so much!